today on Video Voices Africa. We're in the Think Incubation Center uh, that's launched by Tigo and we're meeting the team of Crip Park from Nigeria. Hello. Hey everyone. Hi. I'm Jide. I'm a member of the Crip Park team from Nigeria and I live in Lagos in Nigeria. I'm Dari Pius, part of the Crip Park team also from Lagos. I'm Dari Kumbolaji, part of the Crip Park team from Lagos. I'm Grace, I'm part of the Crip Park team from Rwanda. Tell us a little bit about uh, how it's been your six months here in Rwanda. Six months in Rwanda has been great. It's been beyond what I expected actually. Um, you could call it a, a breath of fresh air from the typical daily awesome and bustle of the Lagos life. Living in the city properly itself has been great. Meeting great friends, the wonderful citizens and indigenous of Rwanda and Kigali. Kigalians, I hope they were like that. And then again, everything has been, has been great. So going back home very soon has been filled with mixed feelings. Uh, you miss here and you also want to get back to really do what the business ought to be doing. Surprisingly, what the thoughts of the average person still has is what's happened over 20 years ago. You realize that the nation has moved way far, far ahead of that. And it's, it's, it's a totally different environment here now. So essentially the, the, the view from outside is not uh, exactly the same as you found inside? Absolutely. Like I said, it's, it, even me with my little education that Rwanda is better than what it was, what I met on the ground, the beautiful landscape, the environment, the people, the, the advancement in technology, IT-wise, is, is far beyond my expectation. So it's, it's a totally different, different experience. Like they say, the taste of the pudding is in the eating. So <laughs> it's coming to run to, to really know what is really happening here. Just day-to-day -day life compared to living in Lagos. To start with the typical daily life is filled with hours on the road, and commuting from work to home or anywhere you want to go. If there's anything, I mean, we spend less than 30 minutes at times to get from home to work, which is not so close by. But I can imagine the, the hours are. I will have to spend about to be in Lagos. Then here, it's you can really have a cool-headed uh, living as, as, as you want. And then, I mean, the light nightlife, the security is, is of something very, very much credible to like you. You just have to give them credit for that. I mean, we've been out as late as 2 a.m. at times. There's nothing that can really go wrong actually. Tell me, what have you liked here and what have you missed about being in Nigeria once you've been here? Um, what I like most here is the calmness of the city. It's very calm compared to Lagos. Um, there's a sharp contrast between Lagos and here. Uh, what I miss about home is food. Tell us about your startup and what role you're playing in it. We're working on an online marketplace for home construction materials. In terms of entrepreneurship and the, the software development and stuff, what have you seen around Rwanda? How would you compare it with Nigeria and what's going on there? Um, actually for Rwanda, I think it's actually a place where you come, for, where you can do a lot of brainstorming, because it's very calm and safe. Compared to Lagos, the competition in Lagos is very high. There are a lot of people everywhere is jumping. But here, it gives you a lot of time to think, a lot of time to work, a lot of time to, to solve your problem, and, which is quite different from Lagos. Generally, what I've observed is, is the fact that the government is fully focused on a young um, generation to really drive the next phase of the economic development for the country. So, uh, be it in the IT industry for entrepreneurial um, um, projects or, or the agriculture, which is still more of the mainstay of the nation's economy, it's quite much more easier to venture out and start something here. So, um, for the tech space, the, the feel is that um, the, the students are not just looking forward to graduating from school and getting employed somewhere. The average youth is thinking of creating something of their own since the infrastructure is right there for them to just to go out and try something and, and see if it works out. Tell me a little bit about what the main things that have been happening in the six months that you've been here for Crib Park. 
for our business group work, it has helped us really get to fine tune and get a proper focus as to the the business niche, the, the problem we try to address with our business is focused on the housing industry and basically more of private home ownership for the person who is about to start a building project or wants to renovate it or wants to furnish the apartment. At some point we had a services part test run but then we decided to put that on hold. So the business itself right from the onset was focused more on um, content and community, like content for housing, matters, um, housing design, home design, bringing experts in the industry to you know, provide professional support and, and services. But then along the line, we evolved from more of the e-commerce into the marketplace where we are presently bringing buyers and sellers of home products, construction materials, building materials, and also furniture together. So it's been more of getting the business focus and getting our, our footing right. Cripark.com poised to take over the housing industry. service yeah, industry. Yeah, excellent. Basically. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks, Aifa. We're really excited to have you here. <laughs>